So, uh, I made it over the pass from uh, the Kashmir Valley heading towards Kistor. And uh, we moved the other side. The pass was way up there. And, uh, up there. Um, but I found this super cool little valley here, kind of village style. There's a few houses up top. I want to live here. Uh, gotta go. Hello. So, um, here in my room in uh, Kistor. Uh, I just thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about it now. Uh, Kistra. Kistra, uh, I mean, I forget my thought. It's not like a city or anything, but uh, it's definitely like uh, a town. I thought it was more like a small town in the valleys kind of thing, but it's definitely like a pretty good sized town. Um, I don't think foreigners come here at all. Um, like at all. They got swarmed by like 20, 15 to uh, 24 year olds outside the guest tents for that movie. Like they were super friendly, super cool. They kind of hustled me to buy a tea. I was already buying tea. They kind of hustled me on that, which is like 20 cents Canadian. It's not a big deal. But um, yeah, it's, it's thick here. I imagine this town is probably like bang on to what it would be like to be in Pakistan. But apart from that, um, everybody's been pretty friendly, everybody's been super nice. Let's have a look at this one. So uh, I'm uh, on the way back to Delhi from uh, the Dalai uh, Right now I'm uh, between Kishtawar and Kailar. Um, this is supposed to be this section here. This road I'm on is supposed to be um, the most dangerous road in the world. Or whatever. Uh, it's carved, uh, I'm sure you can see it right there. It's carved out of the wall. Um, it is a pretty far drop down, a couple hundred meters probably, from, uh, if you fall, but um, there's nothing any worse than any logging road in BC. Uh, it, I mean, some of the logging roads in BC are even stupid than this, but uh, definitely, definitely want to be cautious, definitely want to be aware, definitely don't want to go too fast, but uh, it, it, if you know what you're doing and you're conscious of what you're doing, uh, you're not going to die there. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful spot here, um, super amazing, um, and uh, yeah, I'm probably about 25 kilometers from uh, Kilar, Kailar. Anyway. So right now I'm uh, back on the, the road that is uh, the pass between um, Spitzy Valley and Tank 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 down there. Uh, Spitzy Valley is down there. Uh, I've been doing videos like all day every day. I'm trying to make good time um, to get back so I don't have to make folks in too much on doing videos. Um, I haven't taken pictures. But uh, anyway, um, last night I stayed in Udo Pur. Um, which is between Kailar and Kilon, or Kile. Um, the night before that I was in Kishtawar, uh, coming down the bottom of my loop uh, through Kashmir, and now I'm coming back through uh, the Spitzen Valley. Um, it's been raining here a bit, at least on this side of the pass. The other side is the desert, so I don't think that there's probably rain. If it is, it's probably right. But uh, this side, you can't see it right here. This road's great right here. Um, but uh, it, there's been mud pits down there and 
the rivers are swollen up, or the creeks are swollen up, coming over the uh, over the road. So uh, the creek crossings or whatever uh, are deeper, and there's more water. I'm only about 5k, I think, from the start of the road, and I'm already fully drenched. Um, there's the deep one up here, too. It's not the deepest one that we did, it is the second, it was one of the two most difficult ones, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. Uh, it's a ways up here, I think, if I can remember correctly. But, uh, I'll try to take some video if I can um, of me crossing it and possibly ditching the bike in the river. Uh, we'll see. I didn't last time. I didn't last time, but it was close. Okay. Spot here again. And uh, I should get going because uh, uh, it's going to get dark in a few hours and road slow going.